Baby, back again in, in Las Vegas. I'm curious. Hey. I mean, is, this, is this getting comfortable? Like, do you enjoy fighting here? You're kind of like, man, you know, it could have been on a London car. It would have been nice. <laughs> no, honest. Uh, I love it in Vegas. I absolutely love it. And uh, like you say, it's, it's familiar now. You know, I fought on this. I think this is my fourth fight in a row at the Apex. So I know how things work. Um, really easy to get into the swing fight week. And, and like I say, I, I love being in Vegas. I've, I've had a great time over here. I've been here for a good few weeks now. And... It's just a hell of a lot hotter than over home, isn't it? <laughs> a little bit. Yeah. Little bit. Uh, so listen, is it about time that you hit up Dan Ige to ask him if you can take his nickname? Because, I mean, you're kind of Mr. 50K now, right? Yeah, I, I'm, yeah I'm making a habit of it. It's, yeah, it's, it, it's nice. It is. It's, it's nice to go and get the bonuses. I mean, I, I never go out, like, hunting for them. Do you know what I mean? It, it, it's always going to be the case. You just try and put on the best performance possible. Uh, but, I'll, I'll, again, it's, it's just... I feel like I'm really getting into the swing with things. Even, even with the last couple of losses, I'm still fighting the way I want to fight. I'm still, regardless of what happens, I'm putting everything into my career. So whether the wins or losses come, I'm just going to go in there, put on exciting fights and, and try my heart. Well, that's what I was going to ask because, I mean, I was truly, I'm sure you'd like to win every single fight, oh, yeah. right? But you're developing this reputation as an incredibly exciting fighter and you're getting paid for it as well, which yeah. is kind of the point of doing this, right? So when you go home after a fight where you fought your ass off, lost, but got a bonus check, are you okay with that? Yeah, I mean, it's a nice consolation. At, at the end of the day, I'm a hell of a lot devastated when I lose, or a hell of a lot more devastated just off, off the loss. And, and the bonus doesn't even come into it. You know, even though I, I am fighting for money, that, I, I'm a competitive, a, a, so competitive at heart that the loss is, and the bonus is not better than just getting the win, even if I was getting half as much money, because I just want to win every fight. Um, that, that, that's what I'm all about. It does help, it does help, but it's just nice to know that I'm getting regarded as a really exciting fighter, because I feel like I am. I mean, look, I'm, no shadow of a doubt, I'm not the best fighter in the world. I'm definitely not, I'm far from it. But um, I get hurt, I get beat, I'm tough, I come back and I, and, and I put on a show for the fans, and I love that, it, ma it makes me exciting, and it's, sort of, it's like how I want to be portrayed. That's a hell of an attitude, man. Uh, Lewis Smoke as an opponent. As you said, you've been in some exciting fights. What do you think about him as an opponent? Yeah, I think he's a great opponent for me. It's a great matchup. Um, he's a veteran of the sport. I've been, I've been watching him myself for a lot of years, you know. Um, he had a little hiatus out of the UFC. Reinvented himself at Bantamweight. Came back. He's going to stand there. He's, he's going to have it. And I think it just makes, makes for a really good fight. And, and I'm really excited. He was here earlier and we were telling him, you know, we are asking, hey, it looks like it's going to be great on paper. And he's like, hey, if you liked Oliveira Gaethje last week, come watch us. We're like, yeah. you know, we're like a, you know, it's a free version of that. What, what, what do you think about that comparison? Yeah, no, I think that's fantastic. That's exactly the way we want to look at it. And uh, like I say, I mean, we, I think we're both well known for putting on exciting fights. It's, it's, it's going to be, yeah, real barnstorm, hopefully. I like it. Last thing for me. Uh, you kind of touched on it, but I mean, look, I know you're not at the end of your career, but you're not in your early 20s yeah. either, right? But it seems like even with two losses, like you're higher regarded than you ever have been, yeah. and you're executing at a high level. I guess, is that the reputation you want to walk away from the sport with at some point? Like, maybe I'll never be champion, but I just know that people tuned in every time I watched? I mean, look, realistically, yeah, look, the, the, the route to the champion is going to be a hard one for me. It's not the... Definitely, I don't think I'm past it. I've, I've, I still know 100% that I'm getting better and better. And even though age is ticking away, experience is ticking up, if you will. So I feel like I can still go and put on these fantastic performances. And I will always hunt the title. I mean, you know what it's like in this sport. I'm, I'm probably two wins away from getting in the top 15. And when you're in the top 15, you're two wins away from getting to the title. That's five fights. That's a year and a half. And, it, and it, if everything falls on my side, that's always going to be the goal. But if... Yeah, if it, I mean, if I had to retire tomorrow, honest, like say if I got, I got an injury and then that was me out of my career and I couldn't fight again, I'd still be happy with everything I'd done and I could retire a happy man and look forward to spending the rest of the time just looking after my family. But at the same time, I definitely don't want that to happen. I've still got loads more to give. I've got loads more exciting fights to have. And, it, and it, whether I get remembered as the, the guy who had the exciting fights, the guy who got all the way to the championship, the, or, the, or just the guy who was just walked about smiling all the time. You know, they're all good things, just things that I want to be remembered for. And, and I, I literally, I just can't thank everyone enough just for getting behind me because this is what I want to do. This is all I want to do for a living. And I, I'm, I'm, I'm living the dream, so I just try and take it all in my stride. And yeah, whatever happens, happens. Hey, Davey. Hey. 
uh, your old nemesis, Cheeto Vera, uh, picked up a big win a couple weeks ago. Yeah. I just wanted your thoughts on, the, on, on his performance. Yeah, I thought Cheeto looked fantastic. Uh, Rob's, Rob's a gangster. It's, it was a great fight. Um, it, it, Cheeto just he shows how hard he is to hurt, and he, he hit him with some big shots. And, it, and it's good to go and see him do well. You know, and any of the guys you've fought, whether you beat them or you get beat off them, you sort of want to see them do well. There's bonuses for either way, no matter how it goes. Um, obviously, we're one on one, so it'd be nice to go and get that fight back. And I'm, sh I'm sure he knows I would want it back. Everyone wants to go and sort of re avenge their losses, so to get a rubber match on. Obviously, I'm in no position where a fight with Cheeto would make absolute no sense to him at the minute, and it would be the, the greatest thing in the world for me. But uh, if I can go and get a few more wins, and then try and get up to to the level what he's fighting at now, then that. I mean, it makes for the last one was fantastic. The first one was a good one, and it would be a, a pretty big fight. So it's always, always going to be uh, in the forefront. So you're saying the trilogy has to happen at some point? Yeah, definitely. I think it's just up to me to get the results. You know, that's that's what's got to happen. I'm I'm not stupid about anything, and I'm not a dreamer. Do you know what I mean? But I don't deserve that fight at the minute, and. Uh, yeah, I think it would make great viewing for the fans. It would be good for my own personal vendetta, do you know what I mean? Not that I've got anything against them, but with us being one and one it would be nice to go and get the trilogy for sure. Thank you. Thanks. This is like my favorite part. So thank you. Thank you.